Estimated 5.1 million Americans 65 and older have Alzheimer's disease. About 200,000 are under the age of 65. And for every one person with Alzheimer's, it's estimated that up to four are serving as caregivers. News 18's Holly Campbell joins us now with a look at what it's like living with Alzheimer's. Holly? Jeff, Gina, Alzheimer's affects the brain, resulting in memory loss and behavioral changes. And often, those affected most are the husbands, wives, and children who take on the role of caregiver. Neil and Barbara Maitland have been married 25 years. They share a love of music and enjoy spending time outside. So eight years ago, they bought their home with the perfect yard in Tippecanoe County. But shortly after moving in, Barbara noticed Neil wasn't acting like himself. It was just very confusing and it was very puzzling when he was driving home from Indianapolis and ended up over by Anderson. After a noticeable change in behavior and memory loss, Neil, who was in his early 50s at the time, went to the doctor. After running some tests, doctors suggested having a spinal tap done. But there were complications following the procedure, resulting in Neil needing 24-7 care, a responsibility that landed on Barbara's shoulders. I lost my balance. I lost my partner. Neil had early onset Alzheimer's disease, but he wouldn't be diagnosed for another four years. As time went on, his disease progressed. He would leave their home in the middle of the night, and Barbara remembers a time he tried getting out of their moving car on the interstate. Barbara took on the role of caregiver to her husband, dressing, bathing, watching, and feeding him. It is incredibly, incredibly debilitating, not only for the person, but also for the family. Barbara wasn't alone in caring for her husband. Their daughter, Katie, was only in middle school when she noticed a change in her dad. That kind of scared me because, honestly, seeing my dad not who he was and always had been to me, that was hard. As a young teen, Katie says her grades slipped as her focus turned from schoolwork to her father's declining health. I just wanted everything to be okay, and I was going to do anything I could to be there for my dad. And so I would stay up, you know, all hours of the night and then wait until my mom was getting up before I fell asleep. After a year and a half of working full time and caring for her husband when she got home, Barbara decided to move Neil to Mulberry Health and Retirement Community's Memory Health Unit full time. About the same time, he was officially diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She says it was a difficult decision, but with a young daughter at home, she says it was the right one. To even have a moment to be able to fix a meal or to have any any time to like go shopping with our daughter that was simply non-existent and so she was neglected in many ways i think neil now 61 years old has been at mulberry for four years in that time his disease has progressed for katie the hardest part was when her father stopped talking two years ago my favorite person in the whole entire world my number one you know and all of a sudden I never get to hear him say, I love you again. That's hard. Not sure if he recognizes her, Barbara still visits her husband of more than two decades several days a week. Instead of focusing on things Neil can't do, Barb says she finds joy in the things he can do. I enjoy the time with Neil, but, um, you know, so, so he's there, but he's not the person I know. Not at all. Instead of growing old in their dream home together, Barbara lives alone, missing the man she shared her love of music with and her love for their daughter. Not just holidays either, just, just around. Can you tell? I'm sorry. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in America with no known causes and no cure. We look at, look at developments in research and local treatment options tomorrow. We also look at what resources are available to caregivers and their families. Holly Campbell, News 18.